How's it going and welcome back to a brand new live stream here on the Toon TV YouTube channel everyone and uh, yeah This is um, not a, um, a good news of a live stream really everyone. Uh, it's just broke uh, Right now in the media that Sven Botman has suffered another ACL injury and will be out now for the rest of the season And now for six months out and will require surgery What the hell is going on at Newcastle United regarding injuries this season? This is just getting out of hand. This is just getting absolutely ridiculous now and uh, yeah, thank you everyone for joining me at this half past five here on this uh, Wednesday uh, Afternoon everyone uh, or evening. Thank you so so much for joining everyone. Uh, yeah, so this is what we're gonna be doing now on the channel everyone so uh, when some breaking news happens, I'll be direct. I'd, I'll be directing it live to you, everyone on the channel. So uh, if you want to stay tuned for that, everyone, please drop us. Please drop a subscribe, drop a like, so we stay up there in the search results of YouTube. And also, don't forget that you can, be, you can become a member today by clicking the join down below. Um, and also, if you do want to donate to the channel as well, just click the dollar sign down below in the live chat. Right, let's get into it, everyone. So Sven Botman has suffered an ACL injury, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, regarding all the injuries we've, that, that's going on this season for Newcastle United. This is just getting out of hand. This is just getting absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I'll read what Craig Cope has had to say on Twitter regarding this uh, this news on Sven Botman. Uh, so what Craig Cope has had to say, uh, or what Newcastle have had to say really on, the, on this matter. Sven Botman will undergo surgery next week after suffering a knee injury against Manchester City. A scan has confirmed that he has sustained an injury to his ACL and he's, and, uh, he's, respe he's expected to return within six to nine months. Wish you a full and speedy recovery, Sven. So Sven Botman is out, uh, pretty much. This is uh, it's getting absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd uh, that he's out for this long. It's just getting absolutely ridiculous. I Honestly, I have no words. I really have no words to... Um, no words to explain uh, how crazy, how crazy uh, this um, this stuff is going on. Uh, hello, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Jackie Boy. Says uh, the American Magpie. Uh, evening, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah. What What are your thoughts on this, uh, mate? I did see a message on uh, on the group chat. I did see that. But what What are your thoughts on uh, on this news breaking right now, Chris? That Sven Botman is out for about six to nine months with an ACL injury. Uh, yeah, this is wild. It's absolutely wild. Uh, with, with what's going on. Absolutely wild. Um, but yeah, it's just things, questions have to be asked, have to be asked really. Questions just have to be asked um, regarding um, the um, the uh, backroom staff, um, the uh, medical staff, the medical team, and what they're doing about these situations, what they're doing about all this stuff. Um, because they have a part to play in this, and um, all our players keep getting injured all, all season. And I do think this stemmed from when he did his ACL against Sheffield United. Uh, I think it, I think he may may have done it against Brentford. I'm not too sure, and it carried on to Sheffield United. He scored obviously against Sheffield United, and the day after, I think his knee just blew up a little bit. Um, not blew up, you know what I mean. It just inflamed, um, and, then, and then he knew something was wrong, and then he was out until not long ago. Um, evening beer. Hope you're doing well. Um, and then obviously he's not looked the same ever since he's come back from injury. Really, he's not looked the same, and I feel like this is. Uh, I think that, I think that Man City uh, that I think that Man City game was the game just to say, say to Eddie Howe and um, and just say to him, look, I need I need surgery in, in on this knee. I need surgery. Um, so I think he should have had surgery. I don't think if I recall him, he didn't have sur. I, I, I recall he didn't he didn't have surgery um, when he did when he got injured against Sheffield United. Um, that's what I recall. Um, so um, perhaps that did not help. Um, that may have. That may have been the reason why it took him longer to um, that may have took him longer to recover uh, from that injury that he suffered against Sheffield United, and obviously it's carried on till now. And then that Man City game, that one little injury he got there uh, was enough to say, "Look, I'm out now. Six nine months. I need I need surgery on this knee, and I got an ACL injury." I think that's all it took really uh, for Sven Botman right there. Um, man, it's a it's a travesty. People need to help need to be held accountable in in this. Cannot uh, continue first league division club should not be suffering uh, with these in my dangerous um, uh, in my dangerous is ridiculous. The medical staff needs to be held accountable. Uh, says Chris. Uh, yes, things need to be uh, sorted out between the medical staff and um, questions need to be asked by uh, by the press. Uh, when, when Eddie Howe does his press conference uh, for for the West Ham game, questions need to be asked. Why are this? The why are these many players uh, getting injured? Are they being rushed back? Uh, are they being properly properly well, well dealt with by the medical staff? What is going on uh, with Newcastle United and all these injuries? We keep to pick. We keep we keep to be picking up so many injuries, so many, and it's getting ridiculous now. And why are we playing players who are injured? I, I have a. I, I have honestly. I have a feeling we've been playing Botman 
all them weeks and he's been injured through all of them. And it, it, it shows. It shows. That's not Botman. Botman is a world-class defender. And that is not a world-class defender at work in these past few weeks. Uh, so he's obviously, obviously been playing uh, through an injury. And Eddie Howe keeps, keeps playing him. Just like Sean Longstaff. Eddie Howe keeps playing Sean Longstaff. And they keep uh, having to put needles in his ankles just so he can get on the pitch. No, you can't play players through injury. You can play a bit. You can play through um, uncomfortability. No doubt about that. But these players are playing through pain. I know they are. You can't play players who are injured. You just can't. That's why you got a bench. That's why you got a 25-man squad, Eddie. That is why. If they're injured, they're injured. You can't play them. But yet again, we continue to play them. It's not all Eddie Howe's fault. I know that. It's also the medical staff's fault because they're the ones advising Eddie Howe on what to do with these players. They're the ones saying, yes, you can play him for that uh, for these many minutes. Yes, you can play him that way. They're the ones advising Eddie Howe um, on what what to do with these players who are injured or not. And um, it's just a mess um, with their injuries this season. That's one of the down. That's one of the reasons our downfall this season has happened um, because of injuries and um, the lack of um, players to pick from from Eddie Howe. It struggled. It str- it's made him struggle this season. And things need to be done about it. We can't carry on like this. It, it can't carry on for next season. It can't carry on for the season after that. It just can't carry on. So yeah, 100% Chris. Questions need to be asked in the press conference against West Ham. Questions need to be asked uh, as to why all this stuff is happening. Um, we've known for this for a while. His performance is a dire for a reason, but they continue to play him. Bad management, says Beer. 100%, mate. Uh, 100%. Uh, it's just it's just really, really poor management uh, from Eddie. Howe. Really, really poor. Play players who are badly injured and ACL injury, one of the worst injury you can get in football, an ACL, you're out for pretty much a whole season. I mean, it's better to get him injured out now than... Uh, in pre-season or at the start of the season. Uh, so he should be back um, oof, April, May, June, July, August, September. Reasonably September to November, really. He should be coming back, which is a huge, huge blow. Um, so now Lascelles has to step up, unless he's injured. I'm joking. Um, so now Lascelles has to step up now, and uh, he has to be absolutely brilliant, like he like he did when uh, Botman was uh, was injured against Sheffield United. Um, Lascelles covered for him and covered really well. Did really well in the Champions League games, scored qu- quite a few goals, and did really really well. So uh, yeah, I'm not too fussed about Lascelles coming in because I think he's done a really really good job this season, and uh, I'm not too too fussed uh, about um, not too fussed about uh, Lascelles coming in to replace uh, Sven Botman from his injury. Uh, same with Barnes, um, same with Longstaff, same with Willock, and now Botman. And plenty more than that, mate. Plenty more than that. Um, so, I mean, Gordon nearly got an ACL injury. Wilson's obviously out now for, uh, with a pectoral tendon tear right here. Um, I, honestly, it's just it's really, really bad. It's getting really, really bad at the minute. Uh, if he went out when he uh, when he first got injured, he would uh, be halfway back now, ready for next season. Uh, so, but yeah, if he got surgery when he first got injured, after the Sheffield United game, then he should be he'd be he'd be well he'd be fit enough to play and he'd be the normal Botman we know and love. But because he didn't get in um, surgery and he and he went through and he recovered through the pain, which if he got if he probably got surgery, he probably would have recovered that that bit quicker uh, than uh, than what he already did. Uh, but he didn't get surgery. He went the long route round. Uh, the safest route round in Eddie Howe's mind, because look, if he has if he has surgery, it's going to be longer. It's going to be a longer recovery. He'd rather have a longer recovery, um, and then the player come back and be completely normal and be com- himself, or don't have surgery, which you need. And uh, it's just an absolute mess. I think uh, we've really ruined this. I think we've really, really ruined this. Uh, but yeah, centre back is needed in the summer for now. Uh, centre back is definitely needed in the summer um, because no, di- no disrespect to the cells. We did give him a, a, a year extension on his contract. No disrespect, uh, disrespect to the cells at all. Uh, but centre back is needed in the summer without a doubt. If he went out um, when he first got injured, he, uh, I read that. I read that. Hello, Ryan. Hello, hello, Ryan. I can't get my words out today. Hello, Ryan. Hope you're doing well. Uh, if it wasn't for FFP, this would be uh, ha- uh, this wouldn't be happening. FFP is handcuffing us uh, and hurting players. Says I, I do get FFP to a certain extent because if there wasn't any FFP, it'd be so unfair. Uh, it would literally be like us buying Mbappe and Sheffield United buying Holgate. That that is literally the. Uh, uh, that is actually why FFP is here because um, it's to stop like the likes of Man City getting absolutely everyone. Uh, I do get that to sort of some extent, but I think I think FFP has to be reduced a little bit uh, to give us a bit more freedom because that it's literally the FFP line so low down you don't get that much freedom during uh, with FFP. So I think the uh, I think FFP needs to be reduced slightly. 
um, just to give us that bit more freedom to buy some players and uh, spend a bit more money. If you don't have surgery, the chance of reoccurrence is highly likely. It's just bit, yeah, because surgery just wipes it all out. If you get surgery, then it wipes it all out. But if you don't get surgery, there's always a chance of, of it coming back again. Hence why with a lot of things, such as such as cancer, you require surgery for it. You, you require an operation for it just to make sure you cancel it more out. Because if you have surgery, it's less likely to reoccur. But if you obviously, like Beard just said there, if you don't have surgery, it's way more likely to uh, to occur. Uh, and exactly what's happened right now. Um, I'm, I'm glad. I'm actually glad uh, this happened right now at this time. I'm actually glad. Um, better, better late than never. Uh, but now, now Botman, he can go now. He can have his surgery. He can recover. And we know when Botman comes back from his surgery, from his injury, he will be the, the Botman we know and love. And, uh, and ultimately, that is what we need. That is what we need. We needed a really good, um, proper, proper fit Botman. Uh, at the minute, we haven't got that because we've gone the wrong route round of the injuries, and we paid the price. And now we got to pay the price um, of um, of um, the, the injury right now. Um, yeah, but thank you everyone for watching. This is just a quick breaking news uh, live stream, everyone. Um, probably a video will be out. No, um, I might not. There might not be anything tomorrow. But thank you everyone for uh, taking time out now to come watch this quick little live stream just to. Just to give you the news that Botman is out for six to nine months with an ACL injury and uh, and will require surgery. And he should be back towards the September, to, uh, November, December time next season. Thank you, everyone, for watching. As I said, just a quick breaking news uh, live stream, everyone, just to get your thoughts on this quick uh, breaking news, everyone. But thank you so, so much, everyone. I will see you later. How are the lads? And this video recovery.